we will discuss on a very important topic of medicinal chemistry that is QSAR. Now QSAR stands for Quantitative Structure and Activity Relationship. Now in recent days QSAR has got its special emphasis over other drug designing process. Basically it is a drug designing process, modern drug designing process and there are many advantages of choosing this QSAR technique as the uh, major modification of the, the previous uh, drug discovery process. What are the disadvantages of the previous or the traditional drug discovery process is that the traditional drug discovery process is very costly. It requires a large amount of time from the uh, drug, from its discovery to ultimately to come into a phase in which it can be implemented as a drug. We can call it as a proper drug. by uh, by completing all the parameters required for its, its stability and biological activity. Now here QSAR has got its special emphasis because it is a modern, modern method of, of drug design. design. It's a modern method of drug designing and it is generally uh, a very rational, a rational drug design system. It is a rational drug design. Now, this rational drug design method has been uh, utilized to uh, overcome the disadvantage of the traditional drug discovery process. So, what are the uh, several disadvantages of traditional discovery process? Disadvantage of traditional now traditionally drug were discovered by random screening method. Random screening using Bioassay. Bioassay or chemical assay. Random screening method. In random screening method, there is a, uh, we can say that there is a chance, okay, chance of getting the drug, desired drug. But there is also a great amount of uncertainty. We uh, understand by the term random that it is a great um, chances of uncertainty is there that we uh, will get a desired molecule here. We will uh, select a drug candidate by, if we select the drug candidate by random screening method, it will be a very tedious process. So it is very tedious process. That is, that is, it means it is a very hard working process. Okay. In second one, we generally consider, in second one, we generally consider here that uh, by using by using high throughput screen high throughput screen sorry high throughput screen is also a technique of drug discovery but it requires a large compound libraries it requires large compound libraries compound libraries to be generated. So, if large compound uh, libraries to be generated, it, uh, it, is generated. it is relatively a very good method of uh, getting the desired compound. But uh, we hear uh, a large compounds of libraries, since the large compound of, li uh, of libraries are generated here, so there is a very large compound, large number of compounds are produced. So, from here we have to identify the molecule that is known as lead molecules. Lead molecules. So lead molecules generally they have got some pharmacological activity. They are the group of state of uh, molecules. State of molecules having molecules having desired pharmacological 
Beside pharmacological property. So we just had a first step here. By the development of lead molecules, we just have got the first step of design method. Now it is to be later modified. It is to be later modified by different techniques by uh, checking its pharmaco uh, its physiochemical properties of the drug, such as solubility, and that means it is uh, compatibility of the biophase, compatibility with biophase, and other process. So it is a it is a first step here. It needs to be modified. That is modification is needed. Modification is needed here. Other method is by structurally detecting, detecting structurally, structurally related compound. Structurally related compounds. Say that we have got a particular compound and then we know that what is the actual pharmacophoric pharmacophoric backbone of the molecules. So if we know the pharmacophoric backbone of the molecules, we can generally select this analog that contains that particular molecule or their, that, uh, or that substance that contains that particular group, particular or particular back, uh, backbone. So it is all, these are the traditional drug discovery process. Yet another, we can use bioisosteric principle. Bioisosteric Principle. Principle. That is, we are substituting a particular, a particular atom or a group of atom in a particular structure of molecules that is responsible for our pharmacological activity. So we are modifying that. We can generally substitute. Suppose we can generally substitute carbon, carbon with the uh, sulfur or with the oxygen. So this is isosteric, bioisosteric principle. So all these are the uh, drawbacks of really, uh, traditional drug discovery process because it takes a long amount of uh, of work and it also requires a large amount of time. So to cope with that, we are designing QSAR. After we have got the lead molecules, we need to modify its activity. So, so after we got this lead molecules, we need to modify its activities by predicting that whether uh, the molecule is compatible with the biophase, we have to check its solubility and we have to modify its different physicochemical properties. Okay. Now modification of the lead molecule. Modification. Modification of lead molecule. Now for that we need to know the molecular structure of the drug, molecular structure of the drug, then we have to know the behavior of the drug, behavior of the drug of the drug in biophase. We need to know the behavior of the drug in the biophase because drug may be lipophilic, it may be hydrophilic or it may be hydrophobic. So behavior of the drug in the biophase. Third is geometry of the molecule. Geometry of the molecule. Now it is very important because geometry of the molecule, because the molecule has certain geometry, it has certain torsoidal angles, it has certain amount of angular approach something, it has different conformation and the receptor too, the receptor too have different conformations, that is conformational changes, changes of the receptor. Conformational changes of the receptor. Next is that 
structure changes in the structure changes in the structure after interaction with the after interaction with interaction of the molecule of molecule with the receptor that is the molecule receptor or drug receptor complex drug receptor complex and its biological response and its biological response so we need to study of these molecules we need to modify these uh, uh, these parameters of the initial starting with molecules after that we can analyze that whether the drug will reach its uh, final stage of development or it need, needs some other modification to develop as a successful drug candidate many of these drugs we need to remember that many of these Uh, molecules fail to uh, accomplish all these uh, modification and can cannot never came into the uh, market. So many of the drugs we know that are banned after also in the uh, post marketing uh, post marketing surveillance. So all these requires that we need to properly we need a proper rational. We need a proper rational for drug design. We need to uh, design a drug with the scientific uh, basis, with the scientific basis, not by any kind of chance related matter. Okay. So uh, we will discuss about QSR now in details. That in QSR, the physical chemical properties. That means the physical chemical properties of the molecules. and its relation to its biological activity is actually detected we have to know here that it is generally an empirical process that means it will it is only a hypothesis it is only a hypothesis that drug will act on this way but it is not actually giving us the proper um, idea that how gonna a drug after it enters into the body it will act or it will give a biological response but it is we uh, we have we here may include mathematical equation we have to include here mathematical equation so that it forms the basis the rational basis of drug design okay so different parameters are generally used to you discuss different descriptors are generally used we need to know what are the qsr parameters what are the different descriptors are uh, used to uh, express all those these pharma kaya all these physical chemical uh, physical chemical properties and we know that uh, there if there is a modification of any qsr parameters or qsr descriptors there will be change in the corresponding change in the biological activity so if we uh, it is generally a mathematical process that if we take here y as a biological response then it is a function of physical chemical parameters just like we have studied in mathematics in functions that y has a relationship with the x okay so here also if we consider y as a biological response biological response then we have certain relationship certain function of its descriptor y or we can say that y has a certain uh, function with the descriptors functional relationship shape with the descriptors so in qsr we have some historical approaches these historical approaches are contributed by uh, two scientists namely Hans Lehmann model in 1964 and Carl Brown and Fasher model in 1868 now these two scientists took the initial step of this qsr ar development and they first predicted that there is a certain relationship with the physical chemical properties of the molecules 
with the biological activity. In case of uh, uh, Carl Brown of and, and Fraser model in 1860, they, these two scientists actually predicted there is some relationship with the quaternary and the ammonium structure of the curate molecule. We know that curate molecules are generally neuromuscular block blocking agent. Okay. So uh, in these drugs, there is a quaternary ammonium group. Now this quaternary ammonium group has certain to do with the muscular blocking action. Okay, the muscular blocking action, with, which is the biological activity of the drug, and uh, these uh, Count Brown and Fraser, uh, the, these two scientists actually predicted that what happens if we modify this quaternary structure compound, well, quaternary structure part of that particular cubic molecule? Is the biological uh, activity diminished? Biological, act, uh, biological activity diminishes or it further modifies. So, uh, he, these two scientists took the initial step of the QSR function development approach. Okay. So, in the next video, we will discuss in detail about what are the QSR, different QSR parameters. Okay. So, we have different QSR parameters like electronic parameters, then we have uh, uh, electronic parameters. Uh, electronic parameters, we have other different conformational parameters, different types of parameters. We will discuss in uh, detail in the next video.